All right, to do a test stream on Twitch, what you first want to do is go to inspector.twitch.tv. I'll put a link in the description. And once you're there, you're going to click this button, log in with Twitch. It's going to ask you to gain access to parts of your account. Go ahead and authorize it, allow it. All right. And once this do does that, it'll log you into this. This is like your dashboard of the different tests you've ran on Twitch before. All right. So once you're in here, you're going to click on run a stream test right here. Go ahead and click on that. It's going to give you instructions, but you don't need it because I'm giving them to you. So what you want to do, the main thing you want to focus on is just get this code here where it's question mark bandwidth test equals true. Okay, go ahead and copy that code and you can close out of that. Now what you want to do is go into your streaming software. I'm using Streamlabs, but on OBS, it's going to be extremely similar. You're going to go over here to your settings now. Go ahead and click that and then click on stream. All right. Now, once you're there, you're going to go to this section here where it says stream key. Your stream key should already be input, especially if you've streamed before on this account. And if it's not, I'll show you how to get the, your stream key at the end of this video. Okay. If you don't know how to do that. But what you're going to do is that code we copy, just paste it at the end of your stream key. Okay. So paste it there. Once it's there, go ahead and click done. Okay. And then now what you want to do is just go ahead and click go live. You go, go live, confirm and go live. Okay. Now, when you do this test, you want to run things like your games, your mics, cameras, etc., Cause you want it to be like an actual test. Okay. And the more accurate you are to how you'll be when you go live, the more accurate your test will be, if that makes sense. So now that we've done that, we want to go here and open up Twitch inspector and you'll see that the test is running right now. And just to prove it, if we go to Twitch and we go to my channel, you're going to see that I am not live. Okay. That it's just a, it's just a test. <laughs> so this is me not live, right? So anyways, now what we want to do is <clears throat> go back to our stream inspector. Now you want to let your test run between five and 10 minutes. So that way it gets a good average of how good your bit rate's going to be and your frame rate. So these are the two main things it focuses on this test is your bit rate and your frame rates. And it'll show down here your, your averages. Okay. So right now my average bit rate is around 6,000 uh, kilobytes per second. And my frame rates is at zero, but that's because I'm not running a game. Okay. So I recommend running a game so you can see how it's performing. Maybe you need to lower your graphics. Maybe you need to adjust your settings on Streamlabs or OBS, things like that. So for the sake of this video, I'm not going to let it run for five minutes, but when you're done, you, what you want to do with your stream test. Is, okay. I think I got a good uh, idea of what it's going to look like. You're just going to click in stream like you normally would. I'm not going to do that here because this would we'll stop my video, but that's how you would do that. Okay. So you would click in stream and then you could go back uh, to the, to the Twitch inspection tool, inspector tool, and it'll give you like a, like a read. Hey, this is how like your peak bit rate, this is your average, things like that. And you could, like I said, use that to accordingly. So now if you don't know where your stream key is at, what you want to do is go to your Twitch. And then go to your creator dashboard. Okay. If it's not automatically put in there, like I said, it was, and then you want to go to your settings now and then go to stream. And then right here, primary stream key, you just want to click this copy button. And then you would take that and put it into your streaming software. Okay. So for example, me, it'd be Streamlabs. You would just copy it in there, then put that code, click go live. You're to go like this is helpful. If you have any questions, put them in the comments. We'll see you in the next one. Peace. Thank you.